Hey, I'm Doug Goldstein. I am a financial advisor, and I just want to give a quick review of my Apple Watch from the point of view of how a financial advisor gets the most out of his Apple Watch. So for those of you who are in the financial field, I'll give you a couple of minutes of just what I think is important and what I've begun to use. The bottom line is I like it very much. Let me tell you why. The first thing is I like having different email choices. You can see from the screen here, in the middle actually is Outlook, which is the Microsoft app. On the left side is the native application, which I find runs a little bit smoother using the Apple Watch native email client. But if you want to be able to reply to emails, or actually reply to all, uh, you have to use the Outlook. Apple is going to be upgrading this to allow you to do a little more than they currently do, but there's certainly a lot, a lot of opportunities. The other thing I like is that every time I get an email, I get a little vibration in my wrist. I pop up, I see what's going on, and then I know whether I need to act on something or not. If you are trying to be very careful about your time, maybe it's not a good tool because for those of you who are time management kind of people, we do know that it's important not always to be distracted every time you get a new email. Another thing that I'm using a lot now is Evernote. Whether you use Evernote for one of the hundreds of possible purposes, you might find it very nice to know that it is available also on the Apple Watch. Evernote is basically a note-taking and filing system. It's great for writing articles and podcasts and blogs. I am actually working now on a follow-up to the book that I wrote called Rich as a King, How the Wisdom of Chess Can Make You a Grandmaster of Investing. I wrote that book uh, recently with world chess champion Susan Polgar. And as a follow-up, we are writing blogs and, and we have podcasts at our website. And I'm using Evernote to keep track and to come up with ideas. And every time I have a new idea, I put it in. And the cool thing is that on my watch, I can actually run Evernote. I talk into it and then it appears on all my platforms. It appears on my iPhone, my, uh, my iPad, as well as on the computer itself. Other things which I think financial advisors will particularly like is there are a lot of news apps. Some of them work a little more flaky than others. Mostly I find the Wall Street Journal works pretty well and Bloomberg wor works pretty well. So you'll like that. This is Bloomberg loading on my watch and this is an article from the Wall Street Journal. And of course, you'll probably want to look at the stock exchange. The day I'm filming this, it's not such a great day to want to look at the stock exchange, but I think that you might uh, like the fact that you can load up any companies you want to watch. You can even click on them and get more information if you're so inclined to not have to pull out your cell phone just to see what's going on in the market. You can even put the stock exchange on the front. So when every, time, every time you look up, it's right there. I had that for a few days. It was driving me crazy, so I took it down. But it is very, very customizable, which I think everyone's going to really like. And that's it. I hope this was useful. Again, my name is Doug Goldstein. If you have any ideas or thoughts on how you use it, you can get in touch with me. I'll go back to the Rich as a King slide. I'm easily contactable at richasaking.com. Just click on the Contact Us page. Thanks very much. And if you get an Apple Watch, enjoy.